Hey guys, I figured it'd be fun to do a little light angle experiment. And uh, here's my setup here. Um, I originally wanted to do like the light angle and then the heat because I bought this nifty little infrared thermometer, but I couldn't get the room to stay consistent and like the temperatures were just way different and I just couldn't get anything to work right. I'm a little bummed because I kind of wanted to use this more. I wonder what temperature the dog's at. Hi, baby. Hi. I'm just going to check your temperature. Okay. You are at 87.5. You tired? What are you doing? You tired? <laughs> what are you doing? Hi. All right. Sorry to bother you. Get back. You can go back to sleep. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> So here's my setup. I got an old mic stand hooked up to, I set up a little protractor here. Just to, I wish I could make it more accurate, but you know, just to get a better idea. So right now it's at 90 degrees. So just give us a better idea of the angle of the light. And then right here is an, actually an LED flashlight. Uh, it's a bat light. Uh, <laughs> my uh, girlfriend wouldn't leave the store until we bought that one because she's like you can it's a flashlight and you can beat people with it <laughs> so I was like all right so it actually will work really well because it's really bright so hopefully you guys will be able to see it but it flashes all right. so yeah I also had this one which is a xenon and then an LED and obviously not ideal for checking temperature either because they both don't emit that much heat or as much heat as I would like uh, pretty much it's really I had a hard time I could not find any incandescent flashlights um, probably because they're so inefficient and stuff so that would have been ideal but I couldn't find any but yeah so how I have this set up is I want to do just two different tests or you know two different heights so one at two centimeters and four centimeters I'll, I'll have the angle so like the first angle will be 90 degrees and then uh, the surface area at 90 degrees and I'll go from there. So the first one is set, hopefully you guys can see it. Oop. Is at two centimeters. So I'm gonna click the light. See if I can adjust the camera a little bit here. Okay, perfect. So I taped it down and I'm just gonna mark it and then measure it. Alright. Cool beans. I apologize if this is just horrible video because I can't control. It's hard to hold the camera with one hand and then do this with the other. So I got six and a half, about six and a half centimeters. And then, and then yeah, six and a half. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. 6.5 divided by 2, so 3.25 square it and then multiply that by pi all right so we got a surface area of 33.18 centimeters squared all right let me change the angle i'll be right back all right so now i got it set at about 70 degrees and then hopefully you guys can see it actually i'll turn this off um, hopefully you can see it, but yeah, it's I set it back to two centimeters. And then we'll try the light here. Mark it. So sweet. All right. Okay. Cool. All right, hopefully you guys can see this. Hopefully it's not too dark. All right, so we got a width of 7.4 centimeters. And then, or whatever one's the length and the width. And then this one's at about seven centimeters. Gives us a surface area of 40 point six eight centimeters squared. So forty point 
0.68 centimeters squared at 70 degrees. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so now this one's at about 45. Try to get as close as I could. And then still keeping it at two centimeters. Hopefully you guys, uh, that is kind of dark. I don't know if you can see it, but it's at about two centimeters. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Two centimeters. So let's check it out here. Adjust the brightness. So right about here, 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 and here. So we got the length is about 13 and a half centimeters. And width is about, hold on if you can see that, 9.8. So 9.8. Okay, a surface area of 103.91 centimeters squared. So 103.91 centimeters squared. All right, and I'm going to set it up at a four centimeter height. Alrighty, so I kept it at a 45 since I already had it there, and then I moved it up um, to four centimeters. Alrighty. Hopefully you can see that. I feel with the light on, it's going to be too bright. Oh, maybe not. Yep, four centimeters. So let's mark it. I don't know how I'm going to cut this video together because I feel like this is just boring just watching me mark this all up. But okay. All right. We got first one. Uh, can you see it? 17.8. And then, all right, trying to go fast, trying to go fast. And then about 13. Service area of 181.74 centimeters squared. Cool beans. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I got it set at just about 70-ish. As close as I can get it. 70. And then... Uh, Boom. Still four centimeters above the table. Mark it up. I'm just trying to go fast. This isn't super boring. All right, it probably already is. Is anyone still here? All right. Probably just gonna skip the math. All right, I'll skip the math part where I type it in horribly into the calculator. All right, so we're looking at about 10.3 10 10.3 10 10.3 flip it and then hopefully you can see that maybe not 9.7 cool 9.7 Alright, that gives us 78.47 78.47 centimeters squared. Alright, last one, be right back. Alright, last one is at about 90. Actually, maybe a little above. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Just kind of rig this together. But, uh, hopefully you can see this. at four centimeters and then I'll mark it up <laughs> whoa broke a pencil tip all right measure it got 8.2 hopefully you can see that 8.2 
I'm trying to hurry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I am just. I am sorry if this is just horrible camera work. I'm just not gifted. Oh my god, come on. For real? Just, just right there. Just. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is also about 8.2. So, 8.2 or just cut that in half. So it would just be radius squared. So 4.1 squared times pi equals 52.81. So, I mean, that's the results. Um, you know, as, as the angle decreases, the surface area gets bigger. And, uh, you know, and then when I raise it up to four centimeters, I mean, it seems like it increased a lot more. Um, the lower the angle, stuff like that. Um, obviously this isn't exact or anything like that, but it's just a good fun little experiment to see how angles and everything could affect the surface area that it covers. So I think, I mean, that's why I think it's important when we think about like uh, both earth models, like if you're, when we're trying to create like the flat earth model or if we're looking at the ball model, um, I, 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 that's why I think that uh, light angles um, the, the the angle that the sun is hitting the earth could play a really big role and that's why I think it's important to consider that um, unfortunately I wish I could have done the heat experiment I'm sure there's way better ways than how I sent it up um, hopefully maybe someone will do this and do it much better most likely um, but this is just a fun way I just really wish I could figure out a way to have like a consistent result for heat plus I need a an actual like a incandescent flashlight or something to have the heat transfer a lot more but yeah that was it um had a good time i don't know thought it'd be a fun little experiment i don't know i'm getting tired i'm gonna cut this together and uh, you guys have a super day <laughs> all right bye